Let's go. Let's drop Randy up down to the main center. Ah, oh, we completely glitched out. What was that? That was crazy. Brexit, that was insane. But I didn't know we were in a public server today. Yes, we're in a public server, Starburst, so that we can do some trading with people. Wait, this person's like, sigh, I will never be rich, especially after I got scammed and bullied and hacked. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy is either doing a role play or they're trying to scam people to get free pets. No pets, Lamy. Literally everyone's ignoring them. Guys, we've got a scammer in the server. Scammer alert! Scammer alert! Trade me any Ultra Rare or Legendary to play. Then add me and let's get buying for TikTok. Give me any Ultra Rare or Legendary pet. No! This person is absolutely scamming Brett Salami. I think, honestly, if we just pull out our Diamond Albatross, let's favorite it since it's a pretty cool pet. If we just pull out our Diamond Albatross, we should be able to get like a couple of trades in just one second. Let's go. Let's see what's going to happen. Come on. We're literally going to do nothing apart from turning my trades on because I think my trades are off. There we go. My trades are on now. <laughs> now we're going to actually do a trading video. Let's go. Let's see how long it takes for us to get trades. Oh, here we go. We just got a trade. Let's put in our diamond albatross for a ride potion. Two ride potions. I think maybe a ribbon seal would be worth two ride potions. Maybe. No, that I claim the trade. Oh, this person put in a fly ride reindeer though. That's a pretty good offer. This person is asking who has three rocks. Okay, let's see what they want to put in for three rocks. Even though it's not a pet. Oh, wait, what, what's happening? Oh, someone's using that ice cream van. Even though uh, three rocks isn't like in the new update, the rock pets are still pretty cool. Let's go. They're going to offer a monkey and a Dilophosaurus. Oh, I don't think this is worth it. I'm sorry. Wait, this person is saying trading pet sim X pets for adopt me pets. Guys, that is definitely a scam. People say, oh yeah, give me this pet in this game and then I'll go over to the other game and give you the pet. But guys, this is actually fake. What they do is they take the good pets off you and adopt me and then they friend you and say, hey, uh, follow me and jump into pets in with me and I'll give you the other pet. But really, they don't give the other pet and they just unfriend you and take the pet for free. So this is definitely not worth the pretzel army. Hey, yo, this person's in the pretzel army. Let's go. They're a pretzel army member. That's awesome. And like my joints aren't even on and they're a pretzel army member. That is so cool. Whoa, do you guys see that? We just jumped onto here and it absolutely glitched all the way up to the sky. That was crazy. Ooh, this person has a Neon Puffin, though. They are super rare. Let's go. Oh, no, they're still in a trade. Okay. <laughs> okay, we've got another trade request. Let's go. Let's put in our Diamond Albatross. They put in a Black Springer Spaniel and a Ribbon Seal. Okay, that's actually a pretty good offer. And a Lunar White Tiger. That's pretty good pretzel army. Maybe I would trade that for just one normal Albatross. Since these are like free type of pets. Like if you work in Adopt Me, you can get them. Whereas for this, you have to spend Robux, which is for real money. Maybe pretzel army, we should buy a Fly Potion and feed it to our Diamond Albatross. You know, just to see if it will be any rarer. Totally not because I want to spend Robux on flying it and it'll be fun. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is a little bit that I want to spend Robux on it and it'll be fun. Let's go. Let's feed it to our Diamond Albatross and let's take a look at what it looks like while it's drinking and flying. Oh, this is cute. When it drinks, it is so cute, but what's it going to look like when it's flying? Oh, let's go. Let's fly. <gasps> this is so cool. It's a little bit glitchy. When you stop flying, the pet completely goes still. But still, when you're flying around, it looks so good. And feed your pet a potion. We actually get a free potion for that. That's pretty awesome. My task board. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cool. Whoa, we're flying it around. Okay, let's fly it down into the main center. Ah, okay, it is a little bit glitchy right now, depending on where our camera is. Like, depending on where our camera is, like, the albatross will move, so it's a little bit weird about what's happening here. Ah! Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I literally was just looking at him. <laughs> like, look. Oh, my gosh. If I get it on the right camera angle, come on. That was so funny. There we go. Look. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Since it's so glitchy, you can get it on, like, a weird angle. Oh, my gosh. That's so weird. Copfather79 sent me a trade request. Let, let's put the diamond albatross in. They're trading an albino for a voodoo doll plush, an albino monkey. That's pretty crazy, but I don't think we have a voodoo doll plush. But they sound like a rare item, so I think we're gonna trade seal dog, who does have one. It's a little bit suspicious that one person has them and another person doesn't have them though. 
it is actually from 2021. So if we go into here, this is actually a scam though, Fritz. I'm pretty sure it's a scam because, because I've seen this before. One person is looking for a specific item and another person has that specific item, but really it's one person with two accounts pulled out in front of them. And the person who's looking for it offers something absolutely crazy, like an albino monkey, like a neon albino monkey. That makes you think, oh wow, voodoo plush must be really rare. So then you go to trade this person who has the voodoo plush and you overpay for it so that you can then trade it again to the other person. And then they walk away with really good pets for an item that wasn't worth it. These two albatross pets are flying in sync. Let's go. Look at that. They're, they're just flying in sync. That's so satisfying. Okay, but back onto the scam. We've got to do it, Pret Salami. Let's go. Let's get scammed. So this pet isn't really worth that much. We're going to overpay quite a bit. And we're going to put in something like... Hmm, what if we put in a ladybug pret salami? Since this is definitely overpaying for the voodoo doll. But let's go. Let's accept we are completely overpaying for this. Oh, they're asking for a little more. Maybe as well. I don't want to get completely ripped off. Let's put in a monkey since they are super rare now. Oh, and Adopt Me is warning me that it is a scam. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Is that person really scamming? If they are really scamming, both of these people are about to leave the game. This guy with the brown hair... And this mouse guy. Let's go. Let's confirm the trade. And let's see. Is this really a scam, Fred Salami? Are they really scamming? Okay, they're both about to leave the game. Watch. They're both about to leave the game. Okay, the mouse guy just left. The guy who traded us the voodoo doll. Oh, but that person fully just left the game. No, th they were actually scamming Fred Salami. Oh my gosh. Ugh. So apparently these toys, they are worth a fly ride legendary according to that scammer, which they're not. So if that scam was telling the truth, this person will accept the trade because this is definitely me overpaying. Yeah, it's not me overpaying. They're never going to accept this trade. <laughs> let's go. Let's get back to trading our albatrosses. Let's trade. I'm going to say trading two albatrosses for this or even a golden one, maybe. Ooh, I don't know. I think two albatross pets would be good for this one ride gold horn. Also, the weather board has been updated to show the snow weather. So now I've got desert, sunny, which is just normal. And then we've also got winter here. And pretty soon the desert update's coming into the game. That's pretty cool. In less than 36 hours. So not, not tomorrow night. No, yes, tomorrow night. Wow, this update's coming out tomorrow night. That's pretty cool. Well, I'll make sure that I'm grinding to get a ton of bucks to spend uh, on those pets. Because honestly, the desert pets are so rare. But well, let's actually trade some desert pets. We've currently got the flyable blue scarab beetle out. Let's see if anyone trades us. But honestly, I think the like snow pets will be much rarer than the scarab beetles. Let me know which one you guys like more. Do you guys like the scarab beetles or do you guys like the albatrosses? My favorite are the albatrosses. Come on. The albatrosses are so cool. Or is there like albatry? Is it albatrosses? Or albatry? Wait, what? What is happening? I don't know. Okay. A black No! This person is absolutely scamming Brett Salami. But currently, I'm in a super rich server. There's quite a few rich people here. So let's say in the chat, trading, trading a ton, a ton, of, ton neons. of neons. They put in a neon unicorn and a brown bear. Okay, I would definitely love to get a friend for Starburst. So, ooh, what would we offer for a neon unicorn? Should we do a neon spider crab? Spider crabs are the new ultra rare. Oh, I don't know. I love the spider crabs, but the trapdoor snails. I think we have to offer one of these two. Honestly, I think we offer the neon spider crab for a neon unicorn and a brown bear. Oh, wait, no, I accidentally took it out. Wait, is that worth it though, Fred Salami? Is that worth it or should we offer something else? Maybe like a red crowned cane or maybe like a neon zodiac minion chick? I'm not sure. Ooh, they said what neon legendary. So they want a neon legendary for these. Maybe like a neon phoenix, Fred Salami. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, they're out of the game, though. And the unicorns have been in the game for, like, so, so long. Oh, what else is there, Fred Salami? A neon unicorn is one of the lowest grade neons because it's just been in the game for so, so long. So I'm going to offer in a golden rat. A golden rat is probably, like, the worst neon. No offense to golden rats or anything, but golden rats, as well as the golden lunar tigers, are probably some of the pets that are worth the least. But, wait, a golden rat's getting rarer, though, because golden rats might actually be getting super rare. Because they've been out of the game for so long. Pret Salami, is this worth it? You guys need to comment down below. Am I overpaying or am I underpaying? Or is this a fair trade, Pret Salami? 
a neon fly right golden rat, which I've literally had since like my first month of playing Adopt Me. So it's gonna be really sad to say goodbye to him. But then again, it's a neon unicorn. I think Starburst would really love a friend. I think we should do a pretzel army. I think that we should go and accept this trade. Let's go. You're about to get a brand new neon unicorn. And maybe we can even trade the neon unicorn for something even cooler later on. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. One, there we go, Brett Army. Let's confirm that is the first trade of the day. Literally the first trade screen of the day. We got a trade, and it's a pretty good one as well. Wait, are, are they going to accept this? Are they going to accept this, Brett Army, or are they just going to leave us on non-accept? Wait, if they don't accept, I'm actually going to get real sad. Look, they're right over here, and currently, wait, they just walked back into the main center, and they're walking around. Maybe they're thinking about a Brett Army. What? No. Okay, wait. Was that an accidental decline? Because they then did retrade. Wait. Look, they just put the neon unicorn back in. They declined it, but then they retraded me straight away. Hmm. What are they doing, Pretzlami? I'm so confused. Maybe they're just thinking about it. Or maybe it was like a misclick and they accidentally clicked it. Oh, they said what one for just the uni? Whenever I'm unsure about a trade, I check a Adopt Me trading website. It's called Tradery, and it's where people, like, trade pets. And that's how I know what things are worth. Okay, Neon Golden Rat. Let's take a look at some of the most recent trades that people have done for a Golden Rat. For a Fly Ride Golden Rat, someone accepted all of this stuff? Wait, a Neon Golden Rat and a regular King Bee? But someone offered all of this stuff. Hey, someone did two regular kangaroos, a Mega Neon Ginger Cat, a blue dog? A blue dog? No way. I think I'm overpaying. Okay, Fred Salami, looking at all of these trades that have been accepted, I think that I need to decline this trade. What if I do a neon Sasquatch and a neon rabbit? What neon ledge can I get for the unicorn? There's no other neon legendaries I would trade for the unicorn. Honestly, I would only trade like neon ultra rares and rares for that pretzel army because that neon rat is actually quite rare, apparently. Apparently, according to the website. The website might be wrong, but I doubt it. Also, I'm gonna grab a few of the new cotton candy stands because I haven't actually used these yet and I'm gonna do some trading with them. And I've also put one down in the main center just to make a little bit of extra money and I just realized it's set to $10. No, I wasn't meant to do that. Let's change it to like $3. <laughs> actually, no, five because it has the speed boost effect. Okay, Brett Salami, y'all know what time it is. It's time to put in. Oh, they said I'm your biggest fan, TYSM. You know what we gotta do, Brett Salami? Let's find a free pet to give to this Brett Salami member. I love to give free pets to Brett Salami members because you guys are just the best. Okay, let's close my eyes and let's pick a random pet. What's this one? We got a Shiba Inu. You know what? It did land on a Shiba Inu, but it was really close to a Scarlet Butterfly, which is like 10 times rarer. <laughs> there you go. There we go. There's a free pet for the Pretzel Army member. But I did just see someone with a candy cannon. And candy cannons are uh, the rarest item in the game. Well, at least one of the rarest items in the game. They're pretty crazy. Okay, Brett Salami, we're in a brand new server, and let's just say it one more time, trading neons. Let's do it in full caps. We don't even need to do it in full caps. Somebody has already sent us a trade request. Let's jump on a marsh plush. Salami, are marsh plushes really rare? Or are they like not rare at all? I was under the impression that they were like one of the rarest plushes in the game. That's what I've heard. Maybe they were really rare, but then their value has just gone down as less people have been interested in them. Hmm. Say ABC, buying whatever you touch, your budget is 5K. How to do this? Trade me any ultra rare or legendary to play. Then add me and let's get buying for TikTok. Give me any ultra rare or legendary pet. No, this person is absolutely scamming Brett Salami. No, 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 no. I thought, oh my gosh, this would make such a cool video if I did this. But if somebody's asking for pets up front for you to go and then get something else from them later, 99% of the time it will be a scam. Now, don't go and like get this person banned because they might actually be doing it legit. I'll give you an ultra rare for their little experiment. So the thing that they're saying is if you give them an ultra rare or legendary pet, they'll give you $5,000 to do the I buy whatever you touch video. 
and they might be doing this for TikTok, they might be, but at the same time, they might be trying to scam people. And the way they do this scam is by saying, oh yeah, you'll get this really, really awesome thing if you go and give me an ultra rare or legendary pet. That's what they make you think. They make you think that you're gonna do this awesome challenge, you're gonna get a ton of free items, but what's really going to happen is you're going to give them an ultra rare pet, and then they just walk away, they leave without doing anything. They don't give you the $5,000 that they promised. They don't give you anything. This is similar to a trust trade. If you don't know what a trust trade is, it's when you give someone like a okay item and they and then you do the trade and they have one item from you and then they trade you again and give you a pet. That's what this scam originated from. And although this is still a trust trade, people are like, oh no, this isn't a scam because it's for TikTok and this is what TikTokers do. But I'm telling you right now, if someone's doing a I'll buy whatever you touch video, I'm most likely not gonna ask for an item beforehand. And apparently this is her TikTok, but her avatar looks much different in the videos than it does here. This outfit is very simple and this outfit is very pink with a lot of different like butterflies in her hair or hats on. It looks very, very different to what she's wearing in game right now. That's a little bit sus. So I'm telling you right now, I'm 99% sure that this is a scam, but we're going to go through with it and I just sent her a couple of trade requests and I'm going to do this trade. And if she, she's, she's just left the game. She's completely left the game. Oh, this person said, I knew it. No, what did you give her? Oh, she said a really bad pet. And I just said, oh, that's good, lol. It's good that it wasn't like a neon fly ride legendary. And she probably just gave them like a red panda or a Shiba Inu. Some of the lowest ultra rares, which is exactly what I was going to do. But this person absolutely just scammed them. <laughs> Look at this outfit. It's the meme cat. It's the meme cat. <laughs> Let's jump straight into this. Let's start right and jump down to the main center. Ah, yay, we didn't grab land. All right, while we're heading to the main center of this trading server, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below your Roblox username to enter the Robux giveaway, and make sure that you look out for all of the flying pink pretzels across the screen, and comment down below how many you find during this video. If you do all four of those steps, you'll be entered straight into the giveaway, and you have a chance of winning Robux. All right, let's get to trading. Also, in my last trading video, I said that I would let you guys know if we got the trade for the Mega Neon Unicorn or not. And I would like to say that we didn't. She just didn't respond and then defriended me on Roblox. What? So, I think she was just messing with us, to be honest. Ooh. But today, we're going to see if we could maybe get a Mega Neon Unicorn. It'll be pretty cool if we could. Oh, and the Frostbeak mini game just started. Okay, let's play. Let's go just for this one here. No, three of us jumped on it at the same time. None of us got gingerbread for it. Yes, I got it right. Okay, what if we go forward one more time? Oh, yeah, no. I figured that would happen. Look at how long it goes forward for. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. We're on the last one. I wonder who's going to jump. Oh, I think everyone's on their last life. So, oh. Oh, they guessed correctly. It was forward again. And we got to the jackpot. We got the jackpot. Woo! Also, I'm in a disguise so people don't recognize me and they don't overpay because I'm a YouTuber. This person put in a diamond dragon for a snowball. Okay, there's actually no way. I just got out of the mini game and somebody traded me because they saw that I had a snowball. And they put in a diamond. They said, can you add a bit? Okay, uh, let's jump on the mini game lift so while we're trading we can head up. There's no way we get a diamond dragon. I know that they're not like extremely valuable, but I still like them because, you know, they're diamond dragons. <laughs> So, ooh, what should we add, Pretzel? We feel like we should add another Robux Ultra Rare. Maybe, I'm not sure how rare they are, but like Albatrosses are pretty cool, you know? Maybe a Ladybug pet, since Ladybugs are like 200 Robux each. Let's go, two Ladybugs and a Snowball pet for a Diamond Dragon. Comment down below, is this a win, fair, or lose? They said, hmm, okay, they're thinking about it, so now is the perfect time. Just add in one more pet that'll tip them over. Let's trade Butter the Ginger Cat. Let me know in the comments below, have I made this into a lose trade by adding all these pets? No, 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 I'll add more. Let's go goat. L let's, let's just go for a goat. The goat is out of game. It's from like the Pride update earlier 2022. So that's sadly a decline from that person. All right, we're gonna have to keep on trading and keep on working hard. 
Okay, Brett Salami, this person wants to offer, I said in the chat, uh, I'm trading the Snowball and the Step Lion, and they want to trade for the Snowball pet. So let's put that in and see what their offer is. They put in an Ice Moth Dragon. Ooh, Pretzel Army, that's pretty crazy. Let me know down in the comments below. Is an Ice Moth Dragon worth a Snowball? And is a Snowball worth an Ice Moth Dragon? I'm really not sure, Pretzel Army. I'm not sure whether I'm scamming them or not. She just said, actually, I realized that I'm way over. Hang on, I'll change my offer. And I'm like, yeah, I was looking for something to add. Bro, a red panda. Just let me go throw some Snowballs at people. No, thank you. They added in an orangutan. I mean, red pandas, oh, red pandas and orangutans are kind of the same. And a Sasquatch. I've already got all these pets. I'm looking for more Christmassy pets and more pets that aren't from eggs because I've got like a massive collection of all of those. All right, let's quickly decline the trade and play the Snowball Fight mini game. And yes, that was 10 minutes. We are literally getting no trades for these pets. So Pet Salami, I think it's time for us to pull out the big Christmas pets like the Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon right after I demolish this other team. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just me and this one other girl in our team. Oh, and I've only got one life left. Oh my gosh, one lucky shot and I'm out of this game. There we go. Oh, we got one lucky shot and we got them out of the game. Two lucky shots. Oh my gosh, wait, the game's still on. The game is still on. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. I hit them the second that they hit me. Okay, let's go. <gasps> wait, do we, do we win or lose? Come on. Come on, come on beans, go beans, go beans, go beans, come on. You've got six seconds left to win this for our team. You've got this, come on. One lucky shot, oh, good game. It came down to a one-on-one -on -one and we got 2,000. That's pretty sick. Wait, pretzel army, this is weird. I'm still, this is weird pretzel army. I'm still spectating them even though they're out of the mini game and the mini game ended. Wait, they're teleporting. Am I gonna follow with them while they teleport? Oh, I thought I was gonna follow them when they teleported, but apparently not. That was kind of weird though. Pretzel army, we've got a scam happening down here. You might've seen this person talking earlier in the video, but they are trading 25 trillion pets in pet sim for pets in Adopt Me. Record me if you need to. Oh, okay. Oh, people are saying, okay, bet. No, do not do this. Whether they're scamming or not doesn't matter. This is against Roblox terms of service and it's completely wrong. You will get banned from Adopt Me and Roblox in general. You won't be able to play Roblox and you won't be able to make a new account to play Roblox on because it will ban your whole household of playing. This guy keeps on saying, okay, bet, but I think they're actually trading. Because literally the second he trains over anything, she is gonna defriend him and then leave the game. That's exactly what's gonna happen. I just asked her, what pets do you want for five 25 trillion pets? She says, I don't know, I'll have to see first. Pretzel army, no, this is 100% a scam. I know that sometimes I fall into scams, if you know what I mean. Like in videos to prove that things are scams, I'll fall into them to show you guys that they are scams. <laughs> We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hey everyone, it's Presley. Are you ready to press play? Let's go. It's time to guess the character. All you've got to do is look at the given clues and think hard about a famous DreamWorks character. Are you ready? Let's see what clues we have here. Okay, we have a hat and a feather, a sword, an orange cat, oh, so cute, and a boot. Okay, I think I know this one. It's too easy. This character is absolutely adorable and, like myself, loves adventures. Can you guess who it is? Yes, it's Puss in Boots from the DreamWorks Channel TV series, The Adventures of Puss in Boots. There is no grander adventure than protecting those you care about. Onward to our next quest. Let's play Guess the Hat. All we have to do is guess where Puss in Boots' favourite drink is under the hat. If you didn't already know, milk is his favourite drink. Okay, let's begin. Ooh, th ooh, this is not as easy as it looks. Hang on, slow down. <laughs> I think the milk is in the middle hat. Am I right? Did you guys get it? That was so cool. And I have the most exciting news. It's me, 
Puss in Boots has a new movie coming out in cinemas this festive season. Our fearless feline returns in Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Speaking of wishes, if you were granted one wish, what would you wish for? I wish for my pet cat Sushi to be able to talk to me. Now that would be awesome. I cannot wait to catch Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, only in cinemas from Boxing Day. Thanks for playing, everyone. For more swashbuckling fun, catch the adventures of Puss in Boots on the DreamWorks channel on Foxtel, channel 717. But with the cross-trade scam, that's completely against Roblox Terms of Service, so I'm not going to fall into it to show you guys that it's a scam. Because if I do fall into it, A, she's going to be taking big, big pet. Usually when I get scammed, I'll give away, like, no more than a ride potion, which is still a lot, but not as much as, like, a strawberry shortcake bat dragon, which is the type of pet she's asking. Oh, wait, pretzel army! This person's falling into it! And I'm just telling this guy, no, don't do it! It's against Roblox Terms of Service, and you will get banned! And she's saying, I get banned if I scam, but he can record me. And I'm saying, nope, you both get scammed because cross-trading is against TOS. And she's asking, since when? And I'm like, since forever and i just copied and pasted this little thing in she said that's dumb it may sound dumb but the reasoning behind it is actually quite legit because if you're spending robux in one game and then trading for stuff in another that then stops one developer from making robux and then loss in profit and then it's very complicated but sadly you get banned for doing it. Even if you've got no clue that that's actually a rule, like this girl would have gotten banned if she went through with that trade. Like, don't go sending out hate to this girl. She actually didn't seem like a scammer. I thought she was at the beginning, but when I told her about it, she was like, for real? That sucks. You're lying. And she didn't actually know that it was a rule. So I honestly think that this girl wasn't a scammer, but whether she was a scammer or not, it doesn't matter because it's against Roblox terms of service and you will get banned. So make sure you don't cross trade, make sure you don't start a cross trade and make sure you don't do a cross trade with other people because you will get banned. Ooh, this person is trading an Ice Moth Dragon for a Fly Ride Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon. I feel like if I was to buy both of these outright with Robux, the Ice Moth Dragon would be like more expensive. But to be honest, the Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon has a better rarity just in general. So I'm going to decline this one. Oh, she said, do you want me to add? Yes, pulls. I don't know why I say pulls in real life. I really could have said please. It's so much easier to say please than pulls. <laughs> this guy's username is Want Free Candy. And I'm just telling him, hey, Bill, follow me. Is Bill going to come or what? I was going to give him free candy. No joke, I was actually going to pull out my... <laughs> I was gonna pull out my Adopt Me Beast Blaster and give him free candy! Let's just give everyone free candy, because why not? Don't mind me just shooting honeycomb at this random girl. She's, She's getting, getting away! away. No. no! Ooh, this guy, the dog boy, just said he's overpaying for a strawberry shortcake bat dragon. Okay, I don't think he's actually gonna overpay. I think that's just something that traders use to get pets faster and for people to say, oh, I have this faster because you say that you're going to overpay so people want to trade you more. Oh, here he is, dog boy. <laughs> he wants the strawberry shortcake bat dragon. Okay, let's see what his offer is. He's got an Arctic Reindeer, which is a pretty good pet. So let's see what he says. Wait, one sec. A turtle's good. Oh, he offered in a zombie buffalo. I mean, I guess it's a good pet, but I'm not really looking for a zombie buffalo. Oh, he said wait, meaning, oh, is, he put in two turtles. Oh, three turtles. Yo, three turtles and Arctic Reindeer. Um, my man. I would do this offer any day, but uh, I would be outright scamming him. <laughs> he literally put in his own strawberry shortcake bat dragon. And now he's saying, I'm over, you're greedy, go die in a fight. <laughs> what? <laughs> that got real dark real fast. Oh my gosh, adopt me trading video. Some people in adopt me, they are a bit cray cray. <laughs> Oh, look at this girl over here getting a hug from her wyvern. <laughs> All right, the Frost Beach minigame is starting. We are finishing off where we started. Let's see if we can beat the Frost Bridge minigame again. We didn't get many good trades today, Pretzel Army, but we did teach someone. <laughs> that sounds like the end of like a kid's like education TV show. We may not have found the treasure, but we did find the value of friendship along the way. <laughs> but yeah, Pretzel Army, we did not find a good trade today. We didn't do any trades. But what we did do is we did let someone know that they would get banned if they did cross trading. And you should keep an eye out for that as well. If you ever want to cross trade, I know sometimes it seems like, oh yeah, cross trading. That's so easy because I'm rich in this game, poor in this one. It would just be smart for me to cross trade.
but it's not smart because you will immediately get banned. So make sure you don't do that. Uh, let's just randomly guess this side. No! All right, we don't have any extra lives. Uh, let's go this side. Yo, this guy. Let's do this one. No! <laughs> Okay, we didn't get to the jackpot, but Fred Slummy, if that is. Already in this server, we can see a frost dragon, a frost unicorn, an arctic reindeer, a bat dragon, and so many more super rich pets, including a neon frost dragon. Yo, this server is so, so crazy. Look, it's an actual giraffe, and we've even got the mega neon turtle over here. Yo, all these pets are so cool. So let's pull out our brand new neons and start trading. I'm going to make sure my trades are on Pretzel Army. There we go. And now we can start trading this super cute pet. All right, this person put in a cute little fly ride swan. Oh, they took it out. I did ask if they had any offers. So let's see what they want to offer for the red sand dollar. For a neon ride bat? No, that is not worth it. 100% no Pretzel Army. This person put in a ride strawberry bat dragon. But I don't don't think that they're actually offering for it. I think that's just the pet that they have. I did ask if they have any offers. Okay, they took it out and wait, they put in a snow owl. Wait, they were not to a snow. Oh, no, they declined. I thought they were going to do a snow owl for that. I would have 100% accepted immediately for that. Oh, this person put in a fly ride elephant. No way. Pretzelami, this person's trading a mega turtle for a ride ninja monkey. And I haven't actually got any ride ninja monkeys. I've only got no potion one. That definitely makes this trade a bunch better. But they need ride. You know, we'll grab them a ride potion and we'll put that in as well. Now, this isn't trading the new pets. But we're about to get a mega neon turtle out of this pretzelami. That's going to be insane. There we go. Ninja monkey and ride potion. Why did they decline the trade? Bro, we literally just did the trade. I don't think he saw that we added a ride potion. All right, Prince Lamy, here we go. A ninja monkey and the ride potion for this guy's mega neon fly ride turtle. But he declined the trade. Bro, that's exactly what he asked for. That's so weird. I have a feeling something sus is happening over here. But I can also see something sus happening right here. This person is clapping with their cute little pink skateboard and they're saying trading pink skateboard. But then if we head all the way over to the other side of the server, we can see this person right here. And they're saying that they're trading their bat dragon for a pink skateboard. Now the pink skateboard is definitely a rare item in Adopt Me. It is not worth a bat dragon. And it's no coincidence that these two people are in the same server. Now you would think, hey, why don't you tell this person that this person's over here and they can do a trade together? But they already know that they're in the same server. This person actually has two devices and on one device is this account and on the other device, it's this account here. And what the scammer wants you to do is they want you to see this crazy offer from the person with the bat dragon. And you go, oh wow, I wish I had a pink skateboard. And then 30 seconds later, you walk over and see this person with a pink skateboard. And then you try to get it off them so that you can get the bat dragon. And you will completely overpay because you know in 10 seconds, you're going to get a bat dragon from this. So you'll put in a bunch of pets to make sure that you 100% get this skateboard. But once the trade goes through... Both devices will be turned off and both accounts will leave the game so that you have completely overpaid for an item in hopes that you get a bat dragon, but really you won't. All you'll have done is overpaid for a random item that nobody really trades for. And the scammer will still have their bat dragon and a bunch more pets that they don't deserve. So make sure to look out for that scam. I actually fell into this scam a couple of years ago and it was the same thing, but with the watermelon skateboard. And I've still got it. Also, ignore that I'm dressed up as Camillo from Encanto. Uh, uh, you haven't really got a very good explanation for that. Just ignore it. <laughs> But let's keep trading these awesome new pets. This person put in a fly ride frost dragon and it just added in all three of the new neons plus a neon fly ride frost unicorn to see if maybe they would want that. Let's also do the little hack that people have been doing recently where they add in like little items. Can you change the three neon? Okay, so they don't want these three neons. Maybe they want some stuff that's even better. Let's add a mythic egg, a couple of ocean eggs, a fly ride octopus. No, it's... It's named Squidward. And Bro declined the trade. I was still adding stuff, dude. Come on. Oh, I was so hyped that maybe we might have been able to get the Frost Dragon. But uh, apparently not. We've still got our cute little goldfish, though. We can keep on trading him. And Brett Slami, if we don't end up trading this goldfish today, we're going to need a name for him. So comment down below your best name suggestions. 
for our cute little goldfish buddy. Ooh, they put in a fly potion and a dried leopard cat, and then they decline the trade. Come on, why do people keep on declining the trades immediately? I'm just looking for some cool offers. Red Salami, I put in all three of the new Neons and a Frost Unicorn, and they put in a Parrot. There's no way that they would accept that Red Salami. That's actually crazy. No, they did decline. I kind of had a little bit of hope that they would accept that. <laughs> I put in all of our Neons from the new update. Oh my gosh, they keep declining immediately. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, Bro moved it at the last minute. <laughs> Everyone had put... Two people have put their skateboards like right next to each other and it made an L shape. And I want to continue to make the square by adding mine. <laughs> there we go. So one more person needs to put their skateboard here and the prophecy will be fulfilled. Prince Lama, this person offered a fly potion for the neon and they declined. No, that's not fair. I was 100% overpaying in that trade because to get just one of those pets, you have to pay 240 Robux. I've got four to make the neon, and they were all full grown. Oh my gosh, the fact that they declined that trade. If I was to accept that, that would have been a massive win for them. Oh, this person added in the Naga Dragon, and now they're saying that I need to add. Maybe we add the one little goldfish they would accept. It'd be pretty cool if they did. I mean, the Naga Dragons are just so awesome. We've got a couple, though. We have, yeah, we've got the Neon Fly Ride one, and then just a normal one here. But it'd be really cool to make an army of them, because these pets are gigantic. Yo, somebody did it! Somebody did it! They fulfilled the prophecy! <laughs> they actually added their skateboard to make a square! Let's go! Oh my gosh, that's actually awesome. They really did it! But mine was kind of out of place, so what if we just add us? No. No. The other one left. The prophecy has been broken, and I am magical. I get oh, wait. What what? That was that was so random. What just happened? <laughs> um that's also so glitchy. Is that... That's just a flying skateboard over there. That's just a flying pink skateboard. All right, Adopt Me has been completely glitched out today. Look at this. This is so random. Oh my gosh, and this person's actually trading it. Let's go ahead and add in like a red sand dollar pretzel army. That'll be pretty good. No, they declined the trade. They declined it like as my game was lagging out as well. That was really sad. I wonder if we could do a cool trick on our skateboard where we like jump up and then land back on. Yes, that was really cool. Look at, look at us go, look at us go, look at us go. Watch us go, and then we jump, and we land straight back on it. Skills! <laughs> I think this is a pretty fair trade pretzel army, because the squid have been in game for quite a while now, that, like, they're rare, but they're not extremely rare anymore. They said, sorry? No! I guess I was wrong. I guess they are still really rare. Pretzel army, comment down below if you think I should have accepted any of these trades. And let me know what you would trade for our three brand new neons. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have the best day ever. Peace!